When people ask me what I'm most proud of during my time at Suwannee, I begin to describe my Bonner work, serving as a college counselor at Grundy County High School in Colmont, Tennessee. Growing up in Chattanooga, Tennessee, I attended Baylor School, a private college prep school. I am fortunate to have two loving parents that consistently put their children before themselves. My dad works tirelessly day after day and still managed to have enough energy to play tennis with me after dinner. His work ethic and selflessness are probably his most admirable traits and continues to be the perfect role model as the father and husband I hope to be someday. My mom is my best friend. It is my daily confidant who I know I can trust with any problem I am having. She's also the reason I became a Bonner. You may be surprised to hear how much I hated service growing up. I saw it as an obligation, a forced activity that I had no interest in. In an attempt to appease my mother, I reluctantly applied to the Bonner Leaders Program the summer before my freshman year at Swanee. It was not exactly thrilled when I found out that I was accepted. But that all changed when I started working at Grundy County High School, assisting Mrs. Jesse Kinsey in their college counseling office. Unlike the majority of my Bonner peers, I have only ever attended one service site throughout my four years of service as a Bonner. At first, it was the only one that fit my busy schedule that included tennis practice, writing for my my Miami Dolphins website, and attempting to find my social bearings as a new student on a college campus. However, after just a few visits to Grundy, I realized that I would never need to visit another place. I was intrigued by the high school and its students who secretly were yearning for someone to help them reach their potential. A particular student at Grundy County High School made my transition to both college and a life of service a much easier one. An initially shy girl with a guarded personality, Morgan and I didn't exactly hit it off during our first meeting in the college counseling office. During my first week at GCHS, She criticized me for everything ranging from my different clothing to questioning why I was even at the high school to begin with. She wondered just how much I could help her and why I would even want to, questions I was struggling with myself. It took some warming up to each other before we realized that all the things we had in common. Morgan was just as busy in the Grundy community as I was becoming in the Swanee community. She worked every day at a community restaurant, was a member of the softball team, maintained tremendous grades, and took care of her little siblings every day, both before and after school. After we moved beyond our differences, my fellow Bonner leader Molly Rogers and I were able to work with Morgan towards achieving her goal of attending college. We conducted mock college interviews, drafted numerous college essays, and helped her on the days when she felt like giving up. One day, after celebrating the completion of all her college apps, Morgan came out to Molly and I as one of the few gay students at Grundy County High School. Molly and I were both surprised and grateful that she trusted us enough to share something so personal, and this helped me realize just how great of an impact I could have on these students. Working with Morgan remains one of the most meaningful stories throughout my time at Grundy. After multiple occasions when college appeared to be just out of reach, Morgan graduated at the top of her class and was awarded a scholarship to a small liberal arts school, where she is now a Bonner working with children in hospitals. I still keep in touch with Morgan, and she attributes her success to her time with Molly and me. However, it is Molly and I that also attribute so much of who we are today to Morgan, and our work helping her grow into the courageous woman that she is today. Our impact continues through her Bonner work today. In addition to helping Morgan, My service at GCHS has incorporated an indirect component in addition to working one-on-one with students. I have focused my efforts at Grundy on boosting ACT test scores. A good ACT test score can drastically change the lives of GCHS students. Thus, I started a new academic initiative at Grundy called ACT Now. The premise was simple. Host free one-hour ACT prep classes after school throughout the year that the students could attend and improve their test-taking skills. With the implementation of ACT Now, I noticed a shift not only in the responses of my students at GCHS, but also in the focus of my service as a whole. I shifted my focus from direct service to indirect service, with the goal of leaving a foundation for future Bonners long after I have graduated. One of these direct initiatives was to host all about college meetings for our seniors and juniors. 
I recruited Swanee volunteers to come to Grundy to share their different journeys, both in the college process and at their present states in college. It is through this shift in the format of my service that I find myself both the most excited and the most vulnerable. Like my GCHS students, I am entering a time that is both exciting and unknown. The thought of leaving Suwannee and simultaneously Grundy makes me both sad and thankful for having such a life-altering opportunity. I have grown with my students at Grundy County and have learned more from Mrs. Jesse, Mrs. Jones, and the member of that community than I ever could have imagined as I grudgingly walked through those glass doors almost four years ago. As a person, I consider my time as a Bonner to be the most enriching and maturing path that I have taken as a student during my time at Suwannee. I leave this place not only with a better understanding of the world and what it means to serve compassionately, but also with the desire for more.